And so, the fate comes to an end, but the passion in it left in my heart still burns within me. Ah, my only solace is to wait in the pale moonlight, for the cold breeze of the sea to be heat to still my heated blood. Sorry to make you wait. Ah, perfect timing. You really are perfectly punctual, my friend. It would not hurt you to learn how to be fashionably late, you know. Sorry to be punctual is what I am. So, what of your report? Ah, let us not be boorish and hurry, so yes. This has been a grand evening. Allow me to save it a little longer. Really? I'll take that as a report of I really like them then. <laughs> the lovely princess has stolen even more of my heart. It's a miracle I'll yet live, I tell you. What's more, I met a rival in the arena of beauty and aesthetics. A rival? Me? I should be quite busy over the next few weeks, I think. You really are hopeless. You're welcome to pursue your hobbies, but do not let it appear with a plan. Ah, you need not worry about score, my friend. I've had a note. Here, take it. Very good. So, how did your experiments go? Yes, call it a 90% success rate or so. The hologram projector can accurately project many hundreds of cells. The first two or so projections were miserable failures, I'm afraid. The third, however, device worked flawlessly. So, some cause for concern, but not much. It does function. I report to the professor at once. That gospel. Truly, it is far behind. Far beyond contemporary technology. I don't simply mean it negates the ability to negate other ornaments. I know it was made by the 13 factories, but how exactly does it work? I'm not sure. I'm not privy to the details. According to the Professor, these phenomena are the tip, just a typical well, tip of a miracle. Oh, so it is a stuff of miracles, is it? Miracles are the province of she who dwells above alone. What does he mean, I wonder? Regardless, a few more experiments should make the potential of the Gospels clear. With that. Hmm. Oh, we've had a number of unexpected actors come onto the stage this night. How shall this cameo end, I wonder? <laughs> That's up to how our hidden mouse responds. Indeed. Come now, mouse, cry for us. Way. Hmm. I'm not sure who that little mouse is, but your life is spared, it seems. Thank you, Aidas, for your life, little rodent. And who is that little rodent? Ah, oh, bring on the beer! Ah, oh, can't drink no more. Damn it, I coulda. Okay. Thank you, Ada, Saints, and everyone else. I'm forgetting for saving your. I'm forgetting for saving your humble servant. Like I need to be told to give praise for goddess. What monsters, though? So those are enforcers of a world Chapter two. The raging land. Okay, we're well, off to Zeiss. Anyone anything else they want to do before we go? I don't think so. Unless you can think of anything, let's book. I can think of one piece of business. Where did Miss Dorothy go? She disappeared quite suddenly and I'm curious as to where she could have gone. I think she went to see Neil in the hotel. That's a good point. We could just go say hi and thanks. I think so too. We owe Dorothy our lives really. I want to say goodbye to Matron Teresa and children before we left as well, but... I tried calling them from the guild a minute ago. I think they're out. They are? Ah. Oh. I want to say goodbye too. Oh, we can write him a letter when we get to Zeus. I'll get a kick out of it. Worst comes to worst, ain't too hard to get back here. We will we'll write to him. I want in too. Well, come on, my friends, let us away. To a pulsing heart of the herbal revolution. 
and the seat of geniuses. Let's check the uh, guild board first of all, make sure there's nothing else. Cruising gate gamblers. Okay. Crone trail and Owen causeway. So I've got a few more jobs I need to do. The Crone Trail. The Orion Causeway. And um, Great Gamblers. So the Orion Causeway, where's, where was that? Well, to be honest, I don't actually remember where the Orient Causeway was, but the Crone Trail was up north. Let's first look for Neil. So I can't do that. There we are. Hello. Um. Ah, you guys. Adam Dorothy has solved your little ghost problem. Yeah, we did, but is Dorothy okay? Ah, she's yamming on drowsily about what happened. Once she was finished, she cooked can't ride out, so I put her to bed. Ah, a lot happened last night. She saved our skins. I can't blame her for being kind of tired. Better rest, okay? A real reporter can go good we go out to sleep. Oh yeah, the stuff I was supposed to be talking about sounded wild, but she didn't explain it all. Want to ask you guys a few questions? Sure. Alright, I get it now. Some of a phantom thief be himself in the bell, and he's one of those herbalist people. Kind of wish I hadn't heard of that. Yeah, you know about the mask weirdo? Oh yeah, there's a famous phantom thief. It's called a stir in every major city and continent. If you want something, you'll get it. He always steals things with his big old show. For a phantom, he's got a lot of love and a drama. That's for sure. Hmm. That sounds like a weirdo, all right. Even admitted he's a phantom thief B for most cards, so... Like I said, though, fever is one of those things, but it's a lack of society. Wouldn't think a robber would have a use of someone like him. Do you intend to write an article? Nah. The Guild and Royal, Royal Army asked me not to report anything I to do with his society. So I'll probably end up writing up someone's unintended crime of pleasure or something. Ah, the recruiter tough foiled and my kingdom is beginning to settle. I do see the wisdom in this. There's little ten sense in terrifying the populace with the news of a dangerous secret society just yet. Yeah, I ain't happy about it as a reporter, but I guess I see where the government's coming from. So if anything else happens, so let me know. Anyway, you're off to Zeiss. Alright, I've got a draft I need to write, so I can't see you off, but... Want me to wake Dorothy? That's okay, she's fast asleep. I'd hate to disturb her. Give her the best when she gets up, okay? Will do. Be careful, guys. Cool. Nobody in there. Of course, there's nothing moving out here, except this guy. You remember, Spice? Right? You laid me a boat when the bridge was up. If you had a transport van, we would have been in serious trouble. Thanks very much. Oh, nice chap. Hey, you guys. Huh. Your braces, right? Yeah, something wrong? You look kind of frazzled. There's something I'd like you to investigate urgently. Could you come right now? Um. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, oh yeah. Where should we go? That's a normal selection office, top floor of the hotel. I'll show you the way. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Hold up and let me go home. I've got work to do. Now, now, calm down. Just bear with us until our braces arrive. 
Once the investigation is done, you can leave. Speak of the devil, here they are. That sure was fast, Terrio. Yeah, I looked out and ran into some faces right away. This is Norman. I'm sure you see him on posters. Oh, one of the guys running from here. Estelle Fight of a Bracer Guild. A.G. Krasner, also a racer. Let's get to business. What happened? One of our campaigners, Dells, is injured by someone. In other words, it was a salt case. Assault? That's never a nice thing to hear. Is the victim okay? Yeah, he's still here. He's unconscious a bit. But it was frankly nothing serious. Good to hear it. There's nothing good about it, but back of my head still hurts. Back of your head, huh? Are you attacked from behind? Ma'am, right out of the blue. I've taken a breather on the balcony and all of a sudden behind, thud. That's pretty foul. Sounds nasty. When did the attack happen? Give us whatever you can remember. Say, just after lunch, Norm and I were checking out a potential location for speech by the bridge. Cuba here just, uh, just turned up. When I talked to him, he said he'd just had important business with Norman. What kind of business? Porter just came to apologise for that mess on the bridge. It's not like all my fault, but I did sort of make it worse. I see, so he came to say sorry for a scuffle. Yes, but Norman was still very busy at the time. We asked Cooper to wait in the office area. That's where they showed him into his room. I returned to the hotel not long afterwards. When I entered the room with Herio, who'd been waiting outside the office, and there was Dale's unconscious on the balcony. Cooper was right here, standing over him. I'm trying to tell you, why does that make me the criminal? It was already out cold when I reached the balcony. I understand what Cooper's saying, but it's only natural to suspect him given the circumstances. There's no one in this room except Cooper and Dells. Is that true? After I bought Cooper, I was on watch outside the door. No one entered it until Norman got here. No matter how you look at it, I mean, these two were alone. You sure? Yes, yeah, true. But it's like I said. When I went out to the balcony, Dells was already on the ground. She was saying the crime was committed before you got there. Am I getting that right? Yeah, exactly. And okay, Gaydos, there's finally someone who gets it. In that case, it'd have to be someone who entered the room before Cooper. Dells, do you remember anything? It is possible that someone came in. People going in and out all this time. In the next election office, that makes sense. Ah, sounds simple enough, at least. The criminal's got to be one of two people. This guy here, or someone else. Should I have to narrow it down if we got enough proof? You want to start questioning? You guys notice anything else? Let's think of something. Tell us now. I mean, it seems like it's nothing important. Alright, I have one more thing I'd like to add. There's something that occurred to me as I was looking through the room after the incident. Were there signs of it being rummaged? No, not at all, just the opposite. It actually felt like it was cleaner than before. Yes, they were clean on the loose. Yeah, one way to interpret it would be a disguise to hide the fact this room had been searched. Of course, it appears it may went too far, inadvertently arousing suspicion. That's not a bad train of thought. Incidentally, who are you? I was waiting for that question. I'm a travelling bard, a poetic soul, wandering the wild, a genius... Sure, nothing's been stolen, man. Was the idea of this disguise pretty weak? At this stage, I don't think there's any point in worrying about a motive. You've grown even bolder since our last round of you, Estelle. Your training at Lelacle was most fruitful. Olivier. Just ignore him. Now, is there anything else here? We should get to questioning. Now, we should go about things. I mean, this hotel is pretty big. Between the two groups, you and the princess make some rounds, while well, I keep an eye on a dumbass. He's still an assistance, yeah? Make him a sister. Okay, listen up, we need to gather information about the suspects. If we go around asking about Cooper, this thing should turn up. Get a picture on how a guy is. Come on, tell me. I was conscious this immediately, so I didn't see who hit me. Face went as wide as a sheet. I'd say it many times as you like. I only found him. I mean, fighting someone who would have heard a sound. But no one said anything. I 
No noise, in the lobby, in the lobby. Probably doubt someone would have heard something. A sound you say? That would probably be the sound of me getting hit. I heard a, heard a bang in my head, that's for sure. Oh yes, Cooper's right. I was standing in front of a door. It was quiet the whole time in the room. But some kind of argument I'm sure would have noticed. Group is a guest. That sound you say? I thought you heard those such things. Yeah, we'll continue our investigations in the next episode, shall we? Until then, bye bye.